All right, well, um, hope everybody had a good day, but, um, yesterday and today was a pretty uh, uh, informal day. If you don't know, or if you haven't heard about Joseph Coney, basically, it's this man in, um, Uganda, and for the past 26 years, 26 plus years, he's been kidnapping children and turning them in, turning the girls into sex slaves and turning the boys into killers. And first, you know, he makes them kill their parents. And um, it's, it's been brought to Congress many times for the past eight years. And it's finally something has been done about it. It's finally um, troops were sent last year to Uganda to help them capture this, uh, Joseph Coney man, and, um, and it's crazy to me, I can't imagine one of my little brothers getting abducted and killing anybody, I can't imagine myself being abducted and, and abused, so, I mean, it's definitely a sad story, um, if you haven't checked it out, please, please, please go check it out on YouTube, um, uh, look up Joseph Coney, uh, Google it, it's, it's, um, on Twitter, if you got a Twitter, it was a trending topic, um, on Facebook, it's been a bold topic, everybody been talking about it, so I'm sure everybody has, uh, posted a status about this guy, or, or explained it to one of your friends who had a status about it, like, oh, who is this, so just, just check it out, don't, don't be naive to the situation, and don't, um, don't finish your day not knowing about this. Don't go the rest of your week not knowing about this situation. Um, the thing that's big is nobody really knows what to do. You kind of feel because you live in Chicago in your house. You, what can you do? And that's the, um, that's the big question. What is it that we can do? And it's not so much make him famous and talk about him to the point where, like, oh, we're celebrating what he's doing. But we need to make his name known. We need to make his name a household name so that he can get exposure and we, as the United States, as a nation, can can capture this man. Um, there are buttons. There's bracelets. There is so much that can can help you get involved with it. There are posters. There are um, magazines, articles, anything. Put a poster in your locker. Put a poster on a bulletin board at your school. Um, statuses, statuses, statuses. Make videos about it. Um, keep reminding your friends about it. You and your friends do something about it. It's um, organizations that uh, you can donate money to the children in Uganda. Uh, man, it's, it's so much out there that we could do that I personally, me, myself, I just learned about this all of five minutes ago. Um, a fr my friend Oreo, uh, posted a video on my wall about it and I watched the whole thing. It's a 30 minute long video. I'm pretty sure all of you guys have 30 minutes in your day to watch this video on YouTube. Um, y'all, y'all sit on Facebook all day. Half y'all don't do homework. Everybody gets senior writers right now. So please go watch this video. Talk about it in your classroom. I, if you got to interrupt the whole class period, come on, talk about this. If you need to whisper with your friend and not pay attention to the lesson, make sure you're talking about this. If you're having a bored day on the bus with somebody that you're cool with, talk about this. Talk about this to, to people that you know could help you help Uganda and help people make a difference. Um, another, another thing that, uh, was said in the, um, the video was that Joseph Coney has realized what, um, America is doing. So he's, he's found out that we have sent troops to Uganda to capture him, basically. And, um, he changed his plans. He changed his tactics. Um, he got a new strategy, he went back to the board, and now he is on the run, he making things, he's doing things that we don't know about doing, bigger, badder, smarter, um, sneakier things that we don't know about, and 
if they don't capture him, if the troops do not capture him by December 31st, there is a 99.9% chance that they're going to pull the troops out. And this problem will only continue and get worse. So, um, it's definitely not something that, that I think any of us want to happen. Uh, Leilani Christopher, uh, she posted a status today about t-shirts. She, she's talking about making t-shirts, hanging up posters, getting buttons made. Um, talk to her about that, uh, if you want to help, um. Let's see, who I want, I mean, you know, it's, everything you feel like you're doing, you can, you can make a big deal about it. It's nothing worse than not speaking on something important, um, something that can save a life, something that can make a difference, and with the way my generation is going, this is, uh, this will definitely be something to shine light on us. As a whole, um, anybody have ideas, let's, let's get stuff done. Let's get bracelets made, shirts, socks, stitch, special stitch, send people, um, get a pen pal, send them a package, anything, man. Just, uh, we gotta make this known. We gotta make this known about, we gotta, we gotta keep this heard. We gotta, um, we gotta keep the word going. And like I said, go check out that video. Um, Joseph Connie, check out that video, Google him, Wikipedia, that's, that's something every teenager is always on, looking up facts, check him out on there, uh, what else, the news, the news is something that can definitely help you, um, man, just, 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 just check it out, please, 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 if not for yourself, do it for the people in Uganda. Um, talk to talk to your community about it. Try to get some money to donate. Um, raise money. That's something that we all can do. I'm sure a bunch of my Facebook friends smoke weed and you spend money on weed. Um, you drink, you buy alcohol, you buy, you have a hundred pair of shoes and you still buy them. Use that money to, to, to donate to this special cause because I'm pretty sure nobody can imagine being abducted and one of their family members being abducted and being forced, literally being forced to kill your parents. In this video, the boy jo the, the boy Jacob, he said he'd rather die than be alive. And um, that's pretty serious, man. It's, pr it's pretty serious. He watched his brother get killed. He watched the, the he watched these rebels slit his brother's throat, and he he lived with this every day, and um he ran for his life. He he ran for his life for so many years, and and not not many of us can imagine it. So, I mean, if you get nothing from this, try to help. Oh, and don't take life for granted. It's one one major thing. Don't don't take life for granted because it's so 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 many lives being taken away. And don't feel because we in the U.S. we can't do anything about it. Um, write to your senators, write to your 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 aldermen. Uh, tell people, tell people, tell people, tell people. If you gotta put up one status every day about this man do it we post like 30 anyway it will help it will go a long way this will um this will make him known educate your parents on it um keep hope alive don't let this be something we worry about today and something two weeks from now we've forgotten about something this weekend that we like, oh, whatever. Well, that was that was last week. That was early in the week. We gonna let it go. No, don't don't let this go. I'm pretty positive that it would not be pleasant if we walked in their shoes for a day. We are really gifted. We sit at home. We have hot meals. We we clean clothes. 
we get an education. These kids don't get educations. They spend their life running. All these girls that are sex slaves, 9 out of 10 times are pregnant. Nine, ten out of 10 times have sexually transmitted diseases and AIDS that can't be cured and they shortly die afterwards because they can't um they can't support themselves they can't they don't have medicine they don't know why they sick they just sick so we need to uh we need to do something about this these boys these boys it's 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 insanity it's insanity so we need to do something about this um this video like it comment share i put up a picture today um, Connie 2012, or Coney 2012, um, share it, educate yourself, if you see somebody saying, like, who is this Coney dude, who is Joseph Coney, comment on their status and tell them who he is, and, um, don't let anybody be, be blind about this situation, um, keep this, keep this a trending topic on Twitter, keep this, um, uh, something that's talked about, keep this, in the news and um that's all i can really say thank you for everybody who who uh who spoke upon this spoke about this thank you oreo for sending me this uh the video um and yeah let's make it happen like i said talk to leilani about shirts and other things that can um be made to uh keep the coney name in the news, keep the Coney name in our communities, and don't let this topic die, that's about all man.